Good day guys, today I will show you how to operate the Kongsberg engine room simulator from a cold ship. Common path backslash backslash or whose hyphen data backslash Neptune backslash common backslash MC90 hyphen V is unaccessible. Now that our simulator is open, we will press F5. We will set the initial condition first. So we will set it to cold ship. Now we are going to set our operating condition. So we might as well set this fast to dynamic response. Very fast and should be in dynamics very fast. Now we will press F7. I will show you two situations. One is that we are on shore power and number two we are connected to our emergency generator. So number one, we'll run this. Number one, we will connect to shore power. Electric power plant. Now, as you can see, this is the shore supply. There is a cable in and it is now in out position. We have our face here, face indicator. And this is our breaker or our circuit breaker for us to connect to short supply. We also have this in our panel, panel directory in our synchronizing panel. We have this short supply. So if we press this one, connect, then we go back to our electric power plant. The cable is already in position, but it's on the wrong face. So we'll go back to the synchronizing again change the phase then we connect this one we connect our circuit breaker if we go back to the electric power plant it is not connected but our bus tie is not yet on the in position and also our emergency bus bar it is also not connected so you can connect this one here in then the breaker for the emergency bus bar should automatically connect if we put this breaker in the in position now all we have to do is to switch on all the breakers or the loads that we we will be needing so we can switch this on because we are already in short power now also to this main switchboard Actually, you can also uh, access them here. In switchboard, in switchboard feeders, emergency switchboard. What we have just turned on is the emergency switchboard. Now, we are going to switch on our main switchboard starters. this one in now we have successfully uh, connected our power to shore and now we are our machineries are ready to start with shore power but for example the seawater system if you line this up you can already start the pumps Now I will show you how to start with our emergency generator. I'll have to set the operating con the initial condition again to cold ship. We have to press F2 first to freeze, then set the initial conditions to cold ship again, then press F1 to run, then operating condition should also set this one press F7 now if you can see we will not be using the shore supply we will try to connect through our emergency generator now go to your emergency generator take a look at the 
piping diagrams if it is already ready. Now, we don't have to move anything here. Everything is already set. We just have to start the engine. We will know that the engine is already stable when uh, this power indicator is already stable and this one already lights up. Yeah. Now it is already running. There's also an instance that I'm gonna stop this one. There's also an instance that you can also use this hand pump to build up the starting pressure for the accumulator. Once it reaches the minimum pressure for starting, you can also start the emergency gener generator here. I think 150 bars is already enough. We'll try 150. Yeah, it's already started. Now that our emergency generator is already started, we will go back to our electric power plant and we'll try to connect it to the emergency bus bar. So, turn on this voltage controller. We can set the frequency. We usually use the 60 Hertz frequency. So we lower this to 60, as close to 60 as possible. 60, uh, it's fine. Now this is fine, 60.1. Then we can connect it here. We can connect the breaker here. Then we go to all our emergencies, our emergency panel, our feeder panel, our emergency switchboard. We have these feeder panels. Actually, we can set the lightings first. So, emergency transformer. We can turn on the lights. Then for the battery powered or the battery backed up systems, we can turn this on. Then we can already turn this on. Now, before, we can also turn this on already because it is tapped in our emergency switchboard. Also, the main switchboard. We have our engine room air supply fan number two as our emergency fan. Also, this one, the exhaust fan. The number two is assigned and is connected to our emergency switchboard. All these other breakers cannot yet be connected because we are still on our emergency generator. Now, here's the trick. So you can easily change over the cooling seawater later. You can turn on all the breakers here, just like we did during our shore power. But this one, this all of these feeders doesn't have a voltage yet. It doesn't have power yet. Here, it is indicated here. Now we are just trying to turn this on so that later when we change over to our main generator, we will not have any trouble starting pumps. Now that we have connected our emergency feeders, the first thing to do for me is I guess to set up the seawater system or cooling system first. So open the valves. How many coolers do you need? This one the steam condenser. We will be using this later. Also for the generators, the coolers, the circulating line. These are temperature control valve. So we can set this to auto. We can already set this to auto actually. So that when we have the power 
later for our main generator from our main generator all other controllers will be activated now that we have already lined up our seawater system we can start this pump i know now we can start the auxiliary pump because this one is already tapped in our emergency feeders while this one is on the main switchboard which doesn't have power yet the same goes with our freshwater system we will line this up we can already switch this out we can line this up line up everything the trick is to line up everything so that later you will no longer have to go back here just to open these walls so we usually have a breather if we have steam later we we'll open this inlet valve for main engine cooling open this the aerator or the makeup valve from the expansion tank or the vent valve for the expansion tank this one the outlet valve which will come back to it. but we don't need the freshwater generator yet although it is already in low level we still have the capacity to circulate fresh water here oh open this one this is for the auxiliary line now that our freshwater system is already lined up one thing we need is also our starting air system Now this emergency, gen emergency air compressor is tapped in our emergency feeders so we can build up pressure in our emergency air reservoir. Go to your panel directory, pump compressor controller, then put this to auto, the emergency air compressor. Now we are charging compressed air to our emergency air reservoir. The Z here indicates water content, so we might as well drain this one. We don't want any water to get in our starting system. Now, one thing before we forget, you should check your generator. The generator you want to start so i'll go check our dg1 you can also check this in your start air system by clicking this one now it's low uh, loop oil is low so we'll have to charge it's loop oil because we have set uh, dynamics to fast and levels to fast levels will get high easily so watch out now let's line up the lube system. I'll use the filter one. Then I'll try to put this to auto. This is the priming pump. This is the lube priming pump. We can switch this preheater to auto, of course. Everything is all lined up. Nothing to touch here. Then the fuel system, I'll use the number one filter then i will this is a quick closing valve for our safety in case of fire or we don't want any fuel to go to your to your generator we can close this one this is the quick closing valve if we click this 116 it can be operated here so let's go back to dg number one let's open this then we are now on our do service service line Go to the DO service tank. Open this stop valve. Open this valve leading to your DG1, DG2. We might as well open this up also. Now that our fuel system is lined up for the generator number one, also the lube oil is already in priming mode. The fresh water system or the cooling system. We don't have to touch anything here. We'll just have to wait for the starting air to be enough. So I might as well open this. Open this. We 
we'll wait for this to be enough to be able to start this engine. So guys, uh, please don't be confused with this main switchboard starters, main switchboard feeders, and the emergency switchboard. Our emergency switchboard is connected to our emergency generator. So whatever you can see here, you can start them when your emergency generator is on service. But all the others, this one, these are on your main switchboard, which means that you can only uh, have power for this if your main generator is connected to the bus. So please, don't get confused of that. Let's check it out. I think 11.53 is already enough to start this engine. So we'll try to start this one. If this running indicator becomes stable, it means that we have successfully started our generator engine number one. By the way, before I forget, we have an yeah. now we have set this our audio to sound system. Set this to thirty. Ninety is fine. Ninety is fine. Ninety is fine. Now let's go back there. Our engine is now running. Can hear it now that our engine is running we can connect our main generator or diesel generator number one to our now here's the situation here once your generator or once your emergency generator is already disconnected to the bus these pumps, the auxiliary pumps, will be turned on or, or will stop operating. But you can immediately switch on these pumps so that it will be the ones running for your cooling system. Same goes with your seawater system. This auxiliary pump will stop once your emergency generator is disconnected from the bus. So you have to hurry and turn this on so that they will be the ones to uh, this pump will be the ones will be the one to be on service through your seawater system turn on this voltage controller we'll try to put this to 60 as possible now we'll have to go to your synchronizing panel then we go to switch this to DG1, switch this to DG1, then you can click start. And your emergency generator will automatically disconnect and your diesel generator number one will be connected to the main bus or to the bus bar. Now breaker is connected. There will be alarms, means water line pressure because your auxiliary seawater pump is already stopped so start the pump also freshwater system start the high temperature freshwater pumps and start the low temperature freshwater pumps we will be needing this later but we have to once again check our main switchboard starters now this one's are not yet connected to the bus so we'll try to check our electric pump now here the main bus bar 2 is not yet connected to the main bus bar 1 so we'll have to put this so that we will have our power to your main switchboard feeders and turn this on or in We are now running on our main generator power. So 
so that's it guys we'll just end this here and we'll be back for more videos thank you